On leader's question, Sibony Mary Lou Macdonald, please. Thank you, Glen Corla. Taoiseach, uh, workers and families are experiencing a really tough start to the new year. The post-Christmas period is always the time of financial pressure, but the soaring cost of living sees households now really up against it. People are due to be hit with massive energy bills as government supports are swallowed up. Parents are finding it difficult to put food on the table as the price of groceries has skyrocketed and households continue to cut back on the basics just to get by. The cost of living crisis hasn't gone away. For many households, the situation is in fact getting worse. People continue to make hard decisions just to make it to the end of the week. The St. Vincent de Paul has said that it has received the highest number of calls from families seeking help since the economic crash. The society is also providing record levels of supports to students and young people. A poll conducted for Virgin TV News captures the reality of this crisis. The vast majority continue to stress about the impact of soaring costs on their lives. Many say that they won't have enough to cover spending on essentials this month. And more than a fifth say that their children have had to go without meals or clothing. Adding to the pressure, the ECB is set to hike interest rates for a fifth time next week. The hike will mean an immediate blow for those on tracker mortgages. The stream of hikes has left these households thousands of euros worse off. And we know that those who had their mortgages sold to vulture funds are being aggressively exploited and battered by interest rate increases. And yet, even though there are more hikes to come, government refuses to bring forward any mortgage relief measures. People are genuinely worried about what's coming down the tracks as government supports come to an end. And indeed, I know when our public reps are out in our communities, people constantly come to the door with their extortionate gas bills in hand, and they are very, very worried about the next one. As things stand at the end of February, the reduced VAT rate for gas and electricity comes to an end. So too the reduced rate of excise duty for petrol, diesel and home heating oil. So too the ban on energy disconnections. And then four weeks later the moratorium on evictions runs out. This, this presents the perfect storm waiting to happen for workers and families. Government has said that you will meet in the coming weeks to discuss the future of co cost of living supports. But after two years of people being hammered by soaring living costs, households need clarity, they need certainty about what's going to happen next. They need that clarity and certainty from you now, Tishuk. You've said there'll be no cliff edge, but people need to see the plan. Ton Gerkeim Custis Varaktola Ekurdini Fui Bru Dorira. Cotti on Realtus, a keen shugavine chowli, on Takiot, a hastian. To Ibrahagas chowli, er comish nahalia, agus new fader, a shin, a horla. So, Tishuk, my questions uh, are these. Firstly, will you provide struggling households today with the certainty they need? Can you set out your plan? Will you commit to extending the supports and protections that are now coming to an end? And secondly, will you please examine options to introduce a targeted, tailored and time-bound mortgage interest relief for struggling mortgage holders? Yeah. Thanks, um, thanks, Deputy, and thank you for raising this uh, important issue. I know the issue of the cost of living is a matter that concerns uh, huge numbers of individuals and families and businesses across the country uh, and is very much the issue that is coming up in the doors for our public reps as well uh, when we're knocking on doors and speaking to people, not, uh, not other matters. Um, uh, and I have to say, um, Deputy, I, I agree with your assessment. Um, a lot of people, a lot of families, a lot of businesses struggling with the cost of living. Uh, uh, August Kauroi on Realtish. Um, incomes are rising in Ireland, uh, but the cost of living is rising faster. And what that means in real terms uh, is that uh, 
a lot of people, if not most people, are worse off uh, this year than they were uh, last year as a consequence of that. Uh, we are seeing uh, inflation slowing. Inflation is not as high as it was a few months ago, but there's a big difference between inflation slowing down and prices going down. Um, it's just that prices are going up less fast than they were earlier, uh, and that's, that's not a good situation to be in. Uh, so prices are continuing to rise, notwithstanding the fact that inflation is not rising as fast as it was before. And as I mentioned, government is here to help uh, and wants, wants to help, and we can do so uh, because our economy is strong, because of the economic policies pursued by this government in recent years, and also because our public finances are in good order, because of the good work of Minister Dunne and Minister McGrath in particular uh, in recent years. Uh, so what have we done in the past three weeks? Uh, significantly reduced the cost of childcare in around 25%. That's helped a lot of families. Uh, we've increased the pension by 12 euros a week. In fact, all weekly pension payments uh, have been increased by 12, all weekly welfare payments have been increased by 12 euros a week. Um, about 70,000 uh, elderly people, elderly couples, now qualify for the fuel allowance. They didn't last year, and those applications are still coming in and encourage people to apply. Uh, income taxes have gone down. People will see that in their pay slips this, week, this year if they haven't already, or this month if they haven't already. And the rent tax credit is now available to hundreds of thousands of renters. Uh, 500 euros uh, per renter, per taxpayer, 1,000 for a couple, three people renting, they each, they each get the 500 euros. And a lot of people have not applied for that yet and would really um, uh, encourage them to do so. Um, all of these measures, Deputy, are permanent. Uh, they don't end um, at the end of February. So I've just given you an example of five things the government has done just in the past three weeks to help people the cost of living, which are permanent and don't expire. Uh, at the end of February, and I just want to make that very clear. But you are correct to say that at the end of February, a number of measures do expire. Um, and I've said, and the Tanshta has said, that there won't be a cliff edge in that regard. Um, we're not going to be able to continue everything. Um, we just don't have the resources to do so. But there isn't going to be a cliff edge. And what will happen over the course of the next few weeks uh, is the relevant ministers will sit down uh, with the Minister for Public Expenditure and the Minister of Finance, and we'll work out uh, which measures we can continue and which ones we can't. Uh, and we will try and do that as quickly as possible in the next couple of weeks uh, so that people have certainty uh, long before the end of February. And that's the work that we're doing at the moment. Well, thank you. And uh, Taoiseach, notwithstanding the measures that government has taken, pe people are still struggling, of, as I have described and you have confirmed, uh, that you also uh, recognise that. Um, we have said to you uh, all along and to your government, Taoiseach, that the one-off measures that were introduced to assist people were, of course, welcomed by people. All help is good help when you're under pressure. But what people really, really have needed and still need is a sense of certainty, an ability to plan, an ability to know where their household will be, how they will provide for themselves and their children, at the end of next month and the month after. So I, I have to say to you, while your acknowledgement uh, of the potential cliff edge uh, is welcome, and your assertion that there will be no cliff edge is also welcome, we need more than that now, Taoiseach. People now need to see uh, the colour of your money. They have to see the shape of the plan. So can I ask you again, in respect of the reduced VAT rate for gas ele and electricity, um, will that come to an end or will you con continue it? Uh, likewise, the, the reduction in excise duty on petrol, diesel, home heating oil. Um, what about the moratorium on energy disconnections, the moratorium on evictions? People need that sense of a plan and certainty now. Thanks, Deputy. They're, those are very fair and those are very legitimate questions to ask, uh, but I can't answer them today because the government hasn't made... Um, decisions in relation to the measures that expire at the end of February, but we will, uh, and we'll make sure that people have certainty uh, long before the end of February comes. Um, what we have done to help people with the cost of living is a combination of one-off and temporary measures, and also permanent measures, and I think that should be acknowledged. Uh, the reduction in the cost of childcare is permanent, and I'd like to go further again uh, in the budget uh, later this year. The increase in pensions and weekly welfare payments, an extra 12 euros a week, that's also permanent. Uh, the extension of the fuel allowance uh, is permanent, the reduction in income taxes is permanent, the rent tax credit uh, is permanent, the increase in the national minimum wage uh, above the rate of inflation last year 
uh, will be built on next year, uh, and also their increases uh, in public sector pay and in some of the parts of the private sector that are governed by employment regulation orders. And so long as this government is in office, so long as we pursue the economic policies that we've been pursuing, uh, so long as we keep the public finances in order, so long as there is no change of government, I think people can be confident be that those measures will be permanent. Okay, Councilman Murphy, please. 